Oh yeah, you're in the studio with the live local artist today. I uh, stopped in at the Cosmic Cafe to have a little chai on this dreary, dreary kind of evening. I, I got caught up in the, the landscape of the garden and I'm showing you now some of the elements that you'll see in the painting that I've already started. Uh, we've got the seated blue figure, the, the garden of course, the apple on Jupiter, these beautiful trees here that are right in front of me. I've got this tortoise is what caught my attention here. I said that was where I was first focused on and then my my eyes started to drift up towards the rest of the the rest of the the panorama there and here is where I'm at right now you can see the tortoise here uh, the truffula tree uh, the Jupiter's right here with the apple the, the other truffula tree and here's the seated blue figure I'll be able to get a little bit of some inference of the bicycle over there but I'm running out of light so I need to move quick and uh, you know you can watch along as I do doodle and daddle on my canvas this is the, the, I'll give you something interesting to look at the seated blue figure so my first my first order of business on this canvas is to fill up this space this dead space here it's going to be um, with air really so oh I don't know you know I can do anything I want with it I haven't really settled on a color actually so I should think about that for a moment in the meantime I'm just going to brush some some pigment around thick, thicken up some of the color around here and it's all just real washy that I'm working because I don't really want to commit to anything Otherwise, this is the the monkey grass all around me so I'm painting in some shadow here with the the dirty water that's on my on my brush I can use that for some shadow in the tortoise back here around the shell this uh, decorated shell looks like it's got pineapple rings all around it this is the Jupiter back here we're gonna give it some some space give it some space between the giant turtle that balances the largest planet on his nose the planet that has the apple set atop with a garden with a truffula tree in the hand that sticks out. That's what we're looking at, this very unique garden. I'll take you for a walk through the garden one more time so you can see there the beginning with the, the turtle. The turtle that in my in my view holds the whole planet of Jupiter on his nose it has the apple and then the blue figure at the cosmic cafe in Dallas Texas there's my attempt at this there's the blue figure that you see in the back the truffle of trees the hand Jupiter with the apple and the the tortoise just right there so let's pull let's pull out some some details in this this wondrous landscape that we find ourselves in I'm gonna get a little bit of cadmium red to punch up the the apple and I'm going to let's see I've got a well the vermilion hue looks like it might be bright enough for me we're gonna put some vermilion down vermilion is one of those colors you you got to keep it on a on a tight rope lest it gets out of control it can go everywhere oh it always does me wrong over a million you always promise me so much and you come out and you're almost purple what's up with that thanks for tuning in i'm at uh cosmic cafe right off of cedar springs and oak lawn you've seen it you've driven by it it's the colorful building with the two peacocks sitting, standing on either side of the Buddha, Buddha head. Now I'm going to mix up a color for my tortoise. I want to get a color that's going to kind of be on the gray side, a little grayish green. I'll show you what my palette looks like tonight. 
here we have our handy dandy trusty palette it's got some cadmium lemon on it it's got titanium white some dioxazine purple sap green permanent green a little bit of vermilion and a little bit of cadmium deep i'm going to mix together now some of this white with oh yes i forgot to mention the uh cerulean hue that's on the canvas or on the palette as well mixing up a little bit of this white with whatever was down there it looks like a little cerulean with a little uh sap green and dioxazine dioxazine purple i think i need a little bit you can see it's kind of a purplish color there i don't know how that's coming across on the camera i'm not really doing a camera check on myself but my intentions are well and brush that around for this maybe i need some more blue oops sorry uh, maybe i need a little bit more blue to make that a little bit more dramatic right there it didn't do anything i didn't i didn't feel it i didn't see it that stroke that's a little bit heavier a little bit more weight on it a little bit more presence oh look at you rocking you're rocking Oh, you know, sometimes it's better left things on in the drawing stage. This is one of those times. Oh man. Well, you win some and you lose some, folks. You win some and you lose some. On this one, we're gonna see if I can get this under control. I'm just gonna have to disregard my pre-drawn lines. I'll remember them, sort of. We had. A good time doing them. It helped me to understand the form a little bit better. So I'm scrubbing that all out, passing that color around, creating some base for everything to happen again. Okay, we've got a turtle tortoise. We've got a tortoise. Let's do something with Jupiter. Punch up some Jupiter here. And to do that, I'm going to squeeze out some cadmium yellow medium. That too is one of those colors that it can get away from you if you're not paying attention. And uh, I like to not pay attention. Kidding, I'm kidding. I pay attention all the time. Okay, here we are. What was I going to do? <laughs> Jupiter. That's right. Here's the beautiful colors on our planet. A planet that sits atop the Tortuga. Bohemia. Painting some and some of these lines. Jupiter lines. Storm that rages forever. <coughs> we'll throw a little bit of this color around here. Around here too. What do I want to do with that background? It's time to decide. We got a yellow block that we're the guy is sitting on, the blue figure. Our blue seated figure. A yellow block. If you've ever been here and you've taken a walk through the garden, you might recognize this. If you tuned in earlier and saw the tour, you would recognize it too. So there, we're getting some color down, feeling a little bit more like we're in a garden. I'll take you in for a closer look. Thank you for joining all those who are out there watching us and those who will be. We are at the Cosmic Cafe in Dallas, Texas at the Cedar Springs and Oak Lawn. There is the painting that I have been working on this evening. We have the Tortuga at the right that moves up to Jupiter. Just to start, our apple, the hand that comes out of the ground, the seated blue figure, and our trufula trees. That's our still life for tonight, although... Where's that? I think I'm going to put one of these pagoda lamp lamps in. We'll see where I can fit that. 
Off in the distance we have Jupiter, the apple, our seated blue figure. Oh, look at the, the column of rocks. I need a bigger canvas, that's what I need. I need a bigger canvas. I stopped out here to have a little chai tea and to have uh, a go at this painting. I've always wanted to uh, paint the garden scene. And here I am, I'm doing it. Thank you to the staff here at the Cosmic Cafe for accommodating my very odd request. I know, I know. And if you're in the area, stop by. Tell them you saw them at Live Local Artist. So you watched the live painting as it happened. So tell us where you're at tonight. Tell us how it's going. We had a little rain here today. How's everybody doing? I'm painting a turtle. I'm painting a turtle. This turtle has like designs on it that remind me of a, a pineapple upside down cake. Yeah, I know. A uh, little odd. A little odd. But maybe I can uh, help get that feeling across, you know, when I'm looking at it. You'll know what I'm talking about once I'm done. I'm going to help put the shadows in a sphere over here. This is uh, Vibe Drawing 101. Shapes and lighting. Do, 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 do. Now a little bit of color theory coming up here. I'm just gonna throw that in there. Just to create a little separation. How's everybody doing? You guys painting anything? Good. Keep it up. Post your pictures. Somebody got a chance to. Somebody had a hard time. But then somebody else was able to do it. I don't know how that happened, but show your stuff. Tell us hi, tell us where you're watching from. It's always exciting when somebody's watching from far away. And if you're in the Oak Lawn Cedar Springs area, stop by at the Karma Cafe the Cosmic Cafe. Excuse me. Cosmic Cafe. Get some chai tea. Mixing a little color here of green, just some different, just a lighter version of the darker green and yeah. Make our porcupines, they're really monkey grass coming out like the quills on a porcupine. Let's see, we got a nice color here, kind of good strong color, helps to it separate itself. Lends itself pretty well to a evening landscape color palette. We're gonna have some the bricks. Everything in this garden is intentional. It's all beautiful. You gotta walk through here really and just spend a, a minute to collect yourself. It's a and the garden goes on. I could only fit this very little segment on on my canvas. I really need a bigger canvas. I hope that I'll be a welcome back to make another painting here if you're tuning in from the Cosmic Cafe tell me you love me alright so now we've got a little garden action going on uh, we got our Tortuga we have not quite believing that that's an apple sitting on top of Jupiter that is in a garden so we're going to work on that just a little bit more what do we need? I've got a little cadmium medium. I'm mixing that with the cadmium light and a little bit of whatever was on my my brush. You can't go wrong as long as you're in the ballpark. Can't go wrong because it's such a unique uh, color pattern on Jupiter. As long as you stroke it in the right direction, that's right. It's gonna, it's gonna work. Cutting in around my apple here. Maybe that'll help me to feel more like it's an apple. I like the way that shadows are very crisp at night. 
when there's a direct lighting that's almost like everything is paper cutouts I'm anticipating a little bit of that in this drawing and so I'm creating very hard and dramatic transitions between forms and distance. Deep shadows in the corners and crevices. Or a paved garden. Okay shadows that are even even though they're occurring in this in this guard some of them feel as dark and as deep as shadows in the deepest dark jungles and at night as the light goes away nocturnal creatures start to play in the shadows in the crannies of this garden. Oh, what was I doing? I need to stop talking because this back here is supposed to be the sacred elephant that is in the garden. Better work on that. We need to bring him back. He's standing. Watch. All of these images. These guardians. everybody out there in Facebook land. We're all doing all right. Watching this painting come to life. We're going to do a little dance. Let me show you the garden again. For those of you just tuning in, here's my painting. I've been working on this for a little while. There's that grass that I'm not doing it much justice here. It's this here. It's like coming out like the pet feathers of a peacock. There is Miss Bonsignor Tortuga, Le Tortuga. And then that leads the eye to Jupiter over there. It's so like we're in the Garden of Eden, watching the whole universe come into being. Over there past Jupiter that is balancing the apple, the knowledge we have. Look, there's that sacred elephant back there. I'm gonna cram that elephant right up into Jupiter's backside. And then we're going to finish it out with the, the blue seated nude on the pillar of eternity in the Garden of the Truffula Trees at the Cosmic Cafe in Dallas. I came for the chai tea. It did not disappoint. Here's my interpretation. And oh, look, I forgot to show you the hand. The hand of, of all hands right there in the background. You see that right there? the hand high five psh, psh. that's the hand at the cosmic cafe that's the hand on my painting yeah he's only got four fingers that's all right he'll be all right he's a carpenter working in the shop he got that little trim job many years ago okay so let's let's get back to work hmm Need to put the camera down without knocking you over. Stay with me. Here we go. Let's see, what am I gonna do next? Oh, let's see here. I think right in the center area, we need to break some things up. Oh, the elephant, that's right. That's what I was working on. We're gonna work on my man, the elephant. Let's see, right around here. Let's get a view on this beautiful beast. I'm going to show you what I'm looking at. That way you know through the trees in the garden we saw the great wonder. The decor of the gods. Alright, so there you go. That's what we're looking at. The truffula tree garden with the blue man Tortuga Jupiter is the seed of knowledge and then the elephant stands watch all right back at it <laughs> 
elephant time. Let's see. I'm gonna get a fine, fine, fine brush. Una brocha fina. I'm gonna get some medium. And I'm gonna mix up a color. I'm gonna pour a little bit of this out. This is, uh, let's see, it's artisan, fast drying, medium. Medium de secarse rápido. And, uh, you know, we're gonna get that to slick up our paint. We're gonna mix up a little bit of uh, dioxazine, purple, sap green, and, uh, what else? That's all I got, really, that works for this. Alright, that'll do. Eh, it was, uh, I was gonna add some Van Dyke Brown, but I didn't have any down there, so, uh, you know, we'll be alright. We'll be alright. Let's see. Oh, we're doing an elephant. Take a view, take a look. Okay, his trunk does the the saxophone thing. He's gonna be like real close to the apple. He's like getting a sniff of that. And then his his tusks are these beautiful sloping forms that come out of this very soft trunk. Careful, careful. Take your time with the drawing parts, folks. There's no hurry. No hurry at all. You want to come in and look closer? Watch. Let's see how we can do this. I'm going to see. You see, there's the. There's where the elephant is going to happen. Okay? I'm bringing you in so that you could see my drawing path. Oh, what am I doing? I don't even know. Uh, maybe it's a trunk. Yeah, it's kind of, kind of working. Let's see. I'm having to look. Look. Look at how I'm looking at the, the... I'm having to look through this little corner here. That little crack of... Maybe I, my camera will focus on that elephant. Anyways, through there I can see the elephant. That is my view. That's how I'm bringing this drawing to you. I'm looking down through there so if, if I don't get it right don't don't hate on me it's all right okay back to it he's got this thing on his head I'm sure it's something that means a lot fits his skull very nicely very nice I messed up on that uh, tusk messed up on the tusk right there I don't think I can I don't think I can keep it there I got to get rid of it that's a tricky thing to do. It requires to find a clean brush. And in this box, <laughs> that's kind of difficult to do. All right. Dry brush. Look at that. It's kind of stubby. We're going to scrub this away. All right. We're going to scrub this line away. That kind of works like highlights, you know? See how I'm doing that right there? We're going to just kind of scrub away tint and create highlights for our what will be our elephant. Give me a thumbs up if you can see my elephant coming into being. Can you see it? Got to take a peek through the, through the leaves again. The elephant in, on the other side of that bank. I see its eyes. I'm going to put its eyes in. This is going to be tough. We got to be Steady and ready. Ready and steady. There's the eyes of the elephant. His ears. Those ears. A little. Look at that ear. Oh, look at that ear. Come here, you. Mr. Elephant, welcome. Welcome to the garden. Yes, your trunk will be along soon. Your tusk, that is. This is the elephant that I'm looking at through the thicket there. Come here. I'll show you in a bit. We'll take a little walk over there. I just need to get 
I need to get more of them in. Yeah. There's lots of designs on his back. You really can't go wrong in a situation like this as long as you make it look designy. At this point, I'm just letting the muse do its thing, you know? I'm just holding the brush. Holding the brush and moving my arm. Because I can't do anything else when it comes to this. Spin my brush, though. I can do that. That was nice. Now, backing up, we're getting a chance to take us all in. We are at the Cosmic Cafe in Dallas. At the corner of Cedar Springs and Oaklawn. Not quite the corner, but close enough to say the corner. Look, I need to put that lamp in there. Yes, you beautiful lamp. There's the Tortuga. There's Jupiter. With the apple. The blue seated figure. And then back there we have the elephant that we just <laughs> we just put that in that was pretty cool I, I like it I'm liking it there's our blue seated figure the truffula trees our apple Jupiter yawn elephant that's one of those things you got to look for right over there now here our next see these designs on the tortuga I call them the pineapple rings I'm going to paint pineapple rings all over my tortuga I think my approach, my initial approach was going to be dark color on that, but I, uh, I'm going to do dark color. Okay, dark color. Dark color, fine brush, dark color, purple, sap green. Here's my palette. Limited myself on colors because I'm lazy. Just didn't want to squeeze them out. What can I say? All right. Join me as we paint pineapple rings. Okay. Huh. You gotta just swoop it. Swoop. Don't overthink it because if you do, you'll be sorry. You'll be sorry. Okay, now, not much of a pineapple ring, but if you know you're gonna come back with some highlight, I think it's, uh, we can deal with it, right? I'm gonna brush this around like this. This is a great opportunity for me to just hone in on some drawing and uh, it's like life drawing out here for me you know I get to see all of these these organic shapes dealing with shadow and lighting and uh, technique it's just speed and accuracy when it comes to stroke and pressure that you can apply on your brush it's all just technique technique honing in on it Painting in pineapple slices. You never know when you're going to need to paint a pineapple ring. Sunburst. Somebody just said sunburst. It's a sunburst. You, you might be right. You might be right. You ruined my fun, though. I was just... Imagining somebody was slinging pineapple rings at their pet turtle. But in a garden like this, it's probably more than likely the cosmos on the, on the shell of the behemoth. All right. Things are fitting in. Things are fitting in. We need to just keep on putting shadows after shadow. Paint in those shadows. Draw them in. Whatever. Thanks for tuning in. Where are you guys at tonight? What are y'all doing? I'm uh, at the Cosmic Cafe in Dallas, Texas. Right about at the corner of Cedar Springs and Oak Lawn. We need to get rid of some of this white here. It's white. It's time to go. Time to go. Goodbye. Adios. Get out of here. Primer white. Alright, there's a lot of still shadow to fill in. If you're looking at all this here, all this, this needs to just kind of 
be a color that complements and pushes everything down. Everything needs to get. Well, I'm going to try something. I'm going to try something. Tell me what you think about this color. I'm going to try. It's going to be wild. It's going to be. I don't know. It's like a chartreuse. I'm going to fill this all in right here. See what happens with this color. It's just green. It doesn't exist out here, but it's maybe in the the highlights of the the shrubbery. But somehow I think it counter counterweights all the blue, the heavy, dense blue that we have going on here. So I'm just gonna electric electrify this. Oh, look, the garden just lit up. I need to be out here for this beautiful experience. Come join me. Have a cup of tea. This is a beautiful evening to share some tea with friends the cosmic cafe in dallas will be here for for a while longer you know i just got started on this painting i feel like things are starting to come together sometimes i just will abandon it abandon it like a pair of old sneakers right there the closest power line tie it up and fling it but not this one i'm liking it a lot of symbolism in this in this garden. Digging it. Need some sh some shadows. You see how things are starting to get nice, thick, dark, defining shadows. Lay out. That's the beauty of form. We're gonna get a little sap green. Mix that with our dioxazine purple. Let's make it a brown, and then we're going to. Oh, let's see. I want to put some stuff around here. I'm going to put some stuff right here. Great. I haven't touched this area in a minute. So we're going to see what happens. Oh, I, you know, I do that every now and then. Mounts around my canvas with no, with no real rhyme or reason. Other than I've made enough changes in other places that I figure in order to balance it out, we got to work a little bit over here. But I'm not going to go too much further there. I should really add something like a... Oh, Payne's Gray. Where are you, Payne's Gray? Mm-hmm, Payne's Gray, Payne's Gray. Oh, here you are. Thank you. Payne's Gray. You can have some Payne's Gray in this area here. Ah, come on, Payne's Gray. Don't get me. Look, there's the city street. We are enjoying a, a very cloudy evening. Oops. Squeezing out some Payne's Gray on my palette. Keeping it very neat, of course. Everything kept contained. So if you own a business or have a unique landscape that you'd like for me to come and paint, an event for yourself, a portrait, reach out to me. I can show up just about anywhere. Now let's use this Payne's Gray. What were we going to use it for? I don't really remember. We're going to do some shadows right up in here. Some Payne's Gray shadows. That's going to hopefully create some separation. Some separation of distance. Lane old elements that occur in bands of distance around the composition. Oh, look, that kind of works. That kind of does. And the sweet smell of chai in the air. Yeah, I had some chai tea earlier. We got bamboo in the back. Bamboo in the back. We got bamboo in the back. Wisteria in the front. A truffle of trees. Truffle of trees. Because everybody needs a sneed. All right. My elephant. My hand. Well, let's touch up this hand a little bit. What do you say? Hmm. All right. We're going to get a little bit of this. Some cerulean, a little white, mix that with a little bit of it, and we're gonna come over here. 
Whoa, that's a big glob on my brush. Let's see. Where are you going to put it? Right there. Oh. Oh. Spin my brush just a little bit. Oh. A little bit more. Oh. Another one here. Wow, man. Did I mess up? So tough to do hands. So tough. Hmm. Back up. Back up. I can't even see the hand now. It's way in the shadows. Those dark shadows that I was telling you about has disappeared. So it it's got to be right then, right? This is like the Santa Cruz symbol. Wah! Okay, cool, cool, cool. Good. Do a little blue in the background here, create a little depth of field. Alrighty. Now we got almost there, getting rid of all that white. Almost. We got a lot of dark colors. Should I do a little, I mean, uh, Payne's Gray in there? I'm gonna try some Payne's Gray. We're gonna see. Oh, so scary. So scary. Bringing out the Payne's Gray. It could ruin everything. You're on the, the crossroads of. Should I stop? Oh no, I'm like trembling here. I don't feel it's, I don't know. Well, we're gonna try, I can't stop now, right? Sometimes you get to a point where, you, okay, you just gotta put more of that color in and see what happens. Was it right, was it wrong? I don't know, but I gotta keep. Don't change the stroke because it won't be, what was the stroke? I don't remember, I don't remember. There was a stroke. Was there a pattern? Oh man. Oh man. Stick with it. Stick with it, Daryl. You can do it. Just like you think leaves. These leaves are right in front of you. Look, they're all over in front of you. This is what you're painting. Think about it. This is what you're painting. It's all in front of you. Truffle the trees. We're ready. This is it. Stroking that, stroking that shadow, stroking that shadow, back and forth, back and forth, scribble, scribble, scribble. Hmm, hmm. All right, getting some, getting something. Ooh, I smell the good food coming out of the kitchen. Man, I'm here at the. Uh, Cosmic Cafe in Dallas, right off of Oak Lawn at the corner of Cedar Springs. You won't regret it. Come out, start off with some chai tea, move into a vegetarian dinner. Enjoy your evening. Come and see me paint. I'm out here for a little while, still have some things to work out with this with this canvas but it's coming along I can feel the the garden happening right here look at that I'm going to scrub in some shadows here that might have been a little bit too much shadow right there I, I think I might have that's such a key spot in the canvas Step back. Let's look at this. Okay, now I think I can get away from there. I still have some white up in here that I need to deal with, but then this is the next patch that is really it's calling my it's calling my name. We're just gonna scrub some. What are we gonna do? I'm gonna scrub some of this. It's very light mix of color. It's mostly medium. The glaze. Let me brush that down here. Do that number. Just 
wiping away the primer white. That's all I keep on telling you. That's what I'm working on. Just things start to feel better for me whenever that primer is all gone. I don't know if anybody else feels that same way, but I guess that's what we're working towards. It's starting to fill up with with stuff. Primordial stuff. Hmm. My fingers. You can cut those in with a little bit of a little something here. My apple. And all the way around here. What's happening here? The ground is meeting what? The ground meets the sky. The ground is just res rescinding into the background. Scooby dooby doo. I'm going to be doing that number right there. Brush that around. Ah, I guess I'm getting a little excited here. As I push all this white away, I can see that hand. Okay. I need a little bit of something color on the back there. Do a little bit of shadows within there. Bada boom, bada bing, shadows in there. We got a little work on the Jupiter and Apple so that we'll know what it is. And then uh, finish it out in here with some dark colors. That's a project. Oh, we got to do something with this shrubbery in the front here. We're going to cut that in with some, uh, I guess with some, look, you see, that would be happening right in here for me, that, that brick there. It never ends. It never ends. Oh, I forgot. I got to put the, the little pagoda light in there. That's going in. I'm going to put that right here, pagoda light. I was going to put it over here. Maybe I should just put it right here. Everything's coming out to the pagoda light. Hmm. Head towards the light. Hmm. All right. We're going to do... We're going to mix up some... Uh, what's this? Payne's Gray? Payne's Gray with some sap... Uh, that's going to be cinnabar green. We're making a pagoda house. Where are we going to put the pagoda house? There's the pagoda house. Look at how it just sits in there nestled. Isn't that a beautiful shot right there? We're going to do that. Same thing right here. Just in a whole other painting, really. A painting happening within a painting. And we're going to get some more of this. I'm holding my breath as I'm painting this in because I really am trying to just do it with one stroke. Give it a go gone. I just go gone to that. I go gan it. Let's go gone. Go goner. All right, cool. That was cool. Good stroke there. Good stroke, sir. Good stroke. Jolly good stroke. I'm going to paint some of this. Do some heavy shadowing down here. It's like heavy shadows underneath his chin. Going off into the ground, the soil, back, in between the blades of grass. In the sh shadows of the garden at the 
Cosmic Cafe at the corner of Cedar Springs and Oak Lawn in Dallas, Texas. You've been watching the live local artist, that's me, working on this painting. I'm going to work on it a little bit more. Glad you tuned in to see this happen. Hope you come out, visit the Cosmic Cafe. Let them know you saw the painting as it was being made. Who knew, right? Who knew? Get out and paint. Let me know. Show me. Show me what you got. Oh, you want to see that apple? I got a couple more colors. Look, I'll touch the apple one more time. And then I'm going to let you all go. One more before we end this show. Yeah, that's not the apple. I know. I just, it was, it had to be done. Okay, there's the hand. The hand of fate. The seed of knowledge. And the garden gods. We need red. More red. And some green, a whole new brush for green. A whole new brush. A whole new brush for the green. That stem is awfully green. Kind of looks like a pepper. There you have it, folks. We are at the Cosmic Cafe in Dallas, Texas, saying adios. Until next time, tell your friends, share it, like it. You can send me your love via PayPal. the square even if you like what we do we'll do it again I know I'm still mixing stuff I'm still adding color to the very end to the very end because it all it all matters it all matters if you don't mind you're welcome to stick around I ain't nobody keeping you Jupiter, Jupiter. All right, all right. Uh, no, it's not all right. I know better. I know I'm not done. I need some dark color back here. I know, but at least get a refill on your chai, bro. All right. And you know how it is. You get some things going. It's feeling like it should. Oh, look at that. You see, didn't that feel right? Almost, almost right. We're gonna do a little bit of that around the, around the elephant. There, boom. Okay, so we still got a lot of work to do up around this area. I already know that, but at least the bottom part is feeling nice and drawn in. Jupiter, I can. Uh, it's probably gonna be best to work on it when it dries a little bit. Bingo. Nice. All right, everybody, for sure this time. Signing out from the Cosmic Cafe in Dallas, Texas. Bye.